Philly Bongoli Luta Aya born on October 19, 1951. December 15, 1989 was a Ugandan musician who was the first prominent Ugandan to give a human face to HIV AIDS. He became a national hero because he was the first Ugandan to declare that he was HIV positive. That was in 1988, when HIV still carried a lot of stigma. Before dying of AIDS, Luta Aya spent his remaining time writing songs about his battle with AIDS, releasing his last album Alone and Frightened, including his famous song Alone. Influenced by Swedish duo Roxette's hit song It Must Have Been Love as well as touring churches and schools throughout Uganda to spread a message of prevention and hope. There's somewhere, alone and frightened All the darkness, the days are long Life in hiding, now I'm making new contact Now I'm all loving us Around my Luta Aya was popular in Uganda in the 1960s, and in the 1970s he toured the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Kenya, and Japan. In the mid-1980s, he settled in Stockholm, Sweden. There he recorded his hit album Born in Africa, which is still popular in Uganda. <laughs> Luta Aya's Christmas album, produced in 1986, remains his most popular album to date. The album, whose songs were written in native Luganda, remains central to Christmas celebrations in Uganda. It includes classics such as Merry Christmas, Zuyukika, Tamuzans, Sikakulu, Gloria, Anandiriti, and Katujawas. <laughs> To date, Philly Luta Aya remains one of the best recording musicians in Uganda. Luta Aya's music incorporates Western pop music style as observed in songs like Anifa Sembera, Gloria, I Have a Dream, The Voice is Crying Out, Sirimba. Seka Kulu to mention. In 2004, he won Lifetime Achievement Award at the Pearl of Africa Music Awards, PAM Awards. Later in 2007, various Ugandan artists came together to re-record some of Lutaya's greatest hits. B.B. Cool sang Born in Africa, Juliana Kanya Mosey redid Diana. Erin Namubiru and Nubian Lee of Fire Bass Crew both redid Impizzo. Yeah. 